channel if you're new here i'm nyasha and welcome to the family and please subscribe to my channel just click the bell down below to get notification and click the subscribe button um so to, in today's video i'm really i'm super excited i'm going to be doing a boohoo winter trial yes girl it's boohoo i love boohoo i've done boohoo before and this i'm super super excited because i love fall winter is my favorite season and boohoo girl they've got some stuff if i tell you they've got a lot of stuff a lot of good stuff so without further ado let's get into the video uh, i'm just gonna start with the few accessories that i got from boohoo uh first is the beret hat that i'm wearing i know it doesn't go with my outfit i'm just wearing it for the sake of the video so i can show you before i start trying on everything uh this was six pounds 40 i believe and it's one size fits all and i really really like it i think it's super cute it's a very blogger style thing to have i was like why not nationals just go ahead try it it's a it's a really good accessory i never really wear hats but i was like you know what i'm gonna try this hat and it's really cool for the price is good i think i've never had a beret so i don't really know how much the price ranges are but i, I reckon if you got it in primark it would have been cheaper like three four pounds but i don't mind it i think it's cute i'm kind of like starting to like myself with a beret i'm like hmm, i should get some few few more hats to see how i look in that yeah and then i got this scarf it's so um you guys i'm in love with this scarf uh it's it's like the Balenciaga scarf with the writing on it that says Balenciaga. I believe this scarf says woman on it. Yeah, that's what it says. If I show you, I don't know if you can read that. Yeah, and it's got the black and white. I just love the contrast of the black and white. And I just love the whole, I, I can't afford the Balenciaga, but I can afford this, the knockoff, and it's, it's super as i was saying i love this scarf i even though i can't afford the balenciaga i will keep my knockoff it's super cute i'm in love it was 11 pounds 20 something like that and for the for 11 pounds i say i i'm like in love with this i like that i like the price the price is not bad at all and it just feels so good it feels so warm cozy and it's just it's very chic i feel like a blogger like oh black and white it's, it's a very classic kind of scarf and i love the slogan it says women on it absolutely the thumbs up and then i got these boots uh they're like super big very very tall boots i thought why not i've always wanted this kind of boots in the winter because i know that they'll be comfortable since they have the platform they were 30 pounds and i got them in a size 7 i will try them on when i get up to try the clothes i'll put them on so you can see uh to be honest with you i i like that it's shiny because i have shiny boots like this but in person compared to the actual picture i i think they're a little bit too cheap and plastic even underneath normally you wouldn't really have a shoe with the with the grips for like winter like that be plastic like that there will be a, a rubber a rubber kind of um material underneath and that's why i think they look a little bit too cheap based on what i can see underneath because that is plastic that is not rubber so you might fall so they're tricking you to think that there's a grip actually you will slip because this is slippery it's plastic it's not rubber you can't actually grip with it but they look cute in the pictures though they look super cute they're adorable but i wouldn't necessarily walk in the snow or whatever outside with them but and they're a little bit taller than i i thought they would be they're a little bit they make me look kind of like gianty so i will try them on so you can see i would say mm, for the price you can you can get a better similar in a different website so with like more rubber underneath so you can actually have stability to grip onto the snow whatever you you be walking in or kind of weather and then i got 
uh, you know these bells I've seen them like a hundred times if you remember I had one from ASOS but it was too big I returned it I don't have luck with these bells I got it in a size it's 16 to 24 they don't have like exact size they have a range um, I don't have luck because every time I try to order this bell, I don't think Jesus is like, no, you're not supposed to have this bell because every time I order it, there's something wrong with it. Now, this one, this thing is, the hole is too big. So it literally just comes out. They've done, they've punched the wall, the hole in there too big. So I will have to return this, but I really, really want one of these bells with the circles, with like the fake Gucci circles, but not really Gucci. I do want one, but it's like every time I buy one, there's something wrong with it. Too big, it's broken, blah, blah, blah. But it's cute and it was only, yeah, I think it's about the same price, six pounds. It was, no, I think actually it's eight pounds. Yeah, it was about eight pounds, but it's just 40 they've done the hole too big because it can actually come out it should be able to stay inside and not be able to do that just wanted to sh show you the boots on um, i haven't done the laces because they're really hard to um, take off you have to really like yank them but i just wanted to see I, like i'm super tall they're really really tall but they are comfy they're not hard to stand in as hard as like other shoes that would be um and they actually really go with this outfit. I'll just get into it as well. I got this shirt in a size 24 and it was 20 pounds. It's like the fake Adidas kind of trackies with the top. But I prefer it's in jersey and I prefer this because it's more stretch. It's got a stretch, so you can like downsize if you want. But I got I wanna be like it's a lounge set, so I wanna be comfy and it's definitely comfortable. And I love that. And the way it shapes the booty is like, yes, yes, honey. It's shaped the booty so well. And it's got the white stripe here and here. And they're super high waisted. Like they go up here high. And they, the length as well is not bad at all. I really like this set. Even with the boots and the gray, I like everything about it. I'm like, I'm definitely up for this one. It's not like amazing quality, but for a top and trousers for a set for 20 pounds, I would say it's worth it because I like, it's easy. It's like easy to throw on and you go. And I definitely like this, this tanned coat. It's oversized tanned coat and it's in the size 24. And the color is very, very full. I have to say that's one thing I like about it. The color is very winter full and it's very oversized. It's just that I don't know. I get this weird thing about it. I don't know what it is. I just don't, I'm, I don't like it as much as I thought I would. I thought I would like it a lot more. I think it's just maybe too oversized for my liking. That's why I'm, I don't like it as much. It's 40, it was 45 pounds on sale. And actually the jacket is 40. The pockets are like half stitched and half open. So it's 40. I can't actually, I can only put my fingers, three fingers inside because it's been stitched closed. I don't know, I always get the faulty things from Boho. I don't know what's wrong. Yeah, you can't actually put your your hands in there. I can only put my fingers, like three fingers inside because it's actually faulty. But the thing I don't like about the Ted coat is that the thread, this fabric is originally meant to be inside of coats. I have a coat that has the same fabric inside, but outside it's a different fabric. I don't like that they line it with like lining fabric. I hate that because it makes it slippery and just like fidgety. It should just have not lining. It should be left inside with the same fabric, with the same Ted coat fabric. That would make more sense. It's like it may it's just it will feel better as well it wouldn't feel as plasticky and cheap it would feel like a coat warm kind of situation if you understand what i'm saying um but i don't i don't like it as much as i thought i would and i'm kind of disappointed uh, i'm just gonna close it up so i can show you guys and um <laughs> it's very hard to close because all this mess it's so close to the zip where you need to actually put it in the zip you kind of just have to like pull it back as hard as you can so you can get the zip in there 
yeah it's very difficult to close because of all the the fabric just so close to the zip and all fluffy uh, can i close it it's a challenge can i close this see stuck already the fabric is stuck you have to be careful to close this honestly super careful don't move it's okay it's, it doesn't it doesn't do i've seen tentacles that look a lot better for the price like i've seen one in tesco that's straight and it doesn't have the lining inside and it's the same color and I think I would actually prefer to buy that one than this. But if you like, if you don't mind this lining, it's not a bad coat. It's quite warm. If you don't mind this plasticky feel, I, I really do mind that. I don't like that in coats. Like to feel plasticky. Well, you can close it like that. So it becomes a bit more oversized. It doesn't go down. It will like just be up and like that. It's 45 pounds i don't know you guys let me know in the comments below do you think it's worth 45 pounds because i'm not sure i'm not sure there's just something about it that i don't like and i don't know what it is well there's a couple of things i've already said but there's something i just can't put my finger on like what is it that i don't really like about this what's bothering me but you let me know you guys what do you think about this coat next thing i have is this little cardigan it's um brownish with pearls and guys i have to tell you i love this crisscross thing that it does at the front and the pearl situation and then the back is it is a little bit longer which is if you're gonna do that you better do it shorter at the front and the back you make it longer because it just doesn't work when you do the back shorter and the front longer but it's a little bit revealing that it's well i just have bigger boobs and whatnot because you just have to kind of make it sit i would put a pin here if i don't want it to be too revealing i would stitch it there or pin it something temporary if you want because if you leave it you see it just kind of falls like that but i like this it's such a cute <laughs> such a cute cardigan it's in this it's 24 and it was 16 pounds it's super super cute it's very adorable i like it a lot i really do like yes i'm feeling this yeah i really like it a lot it's like so cute it's just like one of those adorable things like you don't look like you've tried but you look put together it's just so cute and so adorable and I definitely think it's worth 60 pounds. My only concern would be that these little pearls are going to fall off one by one as I wash. Wash the, the card again. It's going to literally just drop off one by one because they've just been stitched. Like there's maybe a couple of stitch holding them. I could even pull this out. It would be that easy to just pull it out but besides that it's very cute and adorable i like it it's very full and i'm like with your like jeans or even with these black leggings they go so well they look so cute so adorable yes super adorable i like it i don't even mind the fact that it's cropped because normally i don't like crop too cropped i don't know yeah i don't mess around that but this I don't mind. I like it. It's very, very sexy. It's very like, oh yes, darling. I just threw this on. Let's go to the um let's go have dinner. It's just so cute. So you can dress it up or you can dress it out. I like it. I give this definitely an eight out of ten. I'm like, I'm feeling myself in this card again. Like yes, Nasha, flip the pony. Yes. It's very cute is jeans they don't fit um i got it really i don't need jeans i have enough jeans believe me but because it was like 10 pounds on sale and they were size 22 i wasn't sure if they would fit because normally i would go for size 24 this is 22 
But my booty is just eating the jeans. <laughs> I can't get it up. It's like so stuck. I'm like, Masha, you can do it. You can do it. Ugh. But no, I can't. I don't think I can. It just won't go past. Oh, my ass is too big. I need a bigger size. Ugh. Oh God, don't do it. Like this. I can't go any low, any higher. There's no stretch. Oh my God, I feel exhausted just trying to get in the fucking jeans. Oh, it feels like it's going up a bit. It feels like it's rising. Ooh. Okay, no, they're not gonna fit. But they were cute. <laughs> the idea is cute for, for 10 pounds. The idea is cute. Uh, they were size 22, as I said, that's the only size they had in stock. That's why I got that. They're blue washed with like a little wash at the front. It's, it's very casual jean, cute. But for me, I'm afraid it's just, it's not gonna happen. I just have to return. Alright, so the next thing I have for you guys is this like little peplum top with like ruffled sleeves. And the color actually is white and nude stripes. And it's in a size 24 and the price was amazing. It was on sale for six pounds from like being 16 pounds, which is always a bagging. I'm a bagging hunter, but it sits up. Like that's why I want to put a belt on it. This belt. I'll see how that's going to work because if it kind of rises up, I just kind of want it to stay down. Okay, so I put it with the belt, and I think I prefer it with the belt, it's much cuter, it's not like riding up as much, but it's a very cute top, for the price, six pounds, I say times up because I don't have tops, I need tops in my life, like honestly, I really need tops, and then I got this shimmery, shiny skirt for nine pounds, this is size 22, this is 24, uh, I love the skirt. The way it just like hugs your fingers, like clings on and make the booty pop, make the hips pop. Like, can you see that? It's just like life. I don't normally wear skirts, and like especially in the winter, but I have to say this skirt is a winner. I like it. It's nothing fancy. It's, not, it's very thin and it's very stretchy. So you can get away with going down in size. But you'll be very cold though. You need like, I don't know what. It's, you'll be cold in this. But it's such a cute skirt and just makes me look like the curves. Just accentuates the curves that like make everything look snatched. Like, yes, and the booty pops everything and i look very like business chic i'm going to the office it's very cute i like the skirt and the top i don't actually mind either of them i'll give them like seven out of ten it could be better fabric quality but we'll forgive it because the way it fits the way it fits is everything it's like the skirt was made for me it was made to just hug my everything it's such a cute skirt. I love it. And it's very like Christmassy. It's very sparkly. Like Christmas is coming. That kind of skirt. But I give this a thumbs up. Absolutely. It's yellow. And it's in size 24. It's called the wild sleeve top. And you can see why. The sleeves, I actually don't mind. They kind of feel free and fun. And you really have to get this in like your true size because uh, there's no stretch. It's like a very stiff fabric. And you can see it's showing everything. It's like you have to wrap it. It's no, there's no button or anything. But it's just my boobs are a little bit out there wild. I can't get it to sit properly like this. It was £16. And you can see at the front it's like long. It dips down. And then at the back, it's short, which is my biggest issue. Like, why? Why would you do that? Why do you think this makes sense? No, it doesn't make any sense. What people have bigger asses, bigger butts. 
why would you make the back shorter? Like, that don't make sense to me. Honestly, it really doesn't. It's like, don't do that. Why are you making the top shorter at the back? The front, I can understand. The back needs to be always longer. Unless it's a crop top all around, then, you know, it's a crop top. But the sleeves, I don't mind. I like, I like the whole, it's giving me like Diana Ross sleeves. I like that. It's like, ooh, very, very well. I can just, yeah, it would be cute. But I don't like the fact that it's short at the back. It just looks ugly. It doesn't, it's not flattering at all. Can you see that? It just doesn't look good. To me, it doesn't look good at the back. You guys let me know what you think. To me, it doesn't look like the front, yes. With this, you can be like, yes, it's cute. The front, I think, it's on point, it's cute. But as soon as you turn around, no. I I don't feel that, I don't like it. It feels like it's too small for you and like you, you bought a smaller size or something like that and then you try to put it on, then like it doesn't fit. But that's not the case. That's how they've designed it, which is a horrible, horrible, horrible idea. I can't stress that enough. Why would you make anything in that, like anything at all, dress, uh, top, jeans, anything shorter in the back? No, never. Like there's people like me in big asses. No, like that's gonna eat up all the fabric anyway, even if it was the right length. But to just make it shorter, you're making it worse. Like, you just, like, making the whole situation worse. I don't like that. That's, like, ugh. The bra wrap dress. I have to tell you guys, I love the print, the zebra print, and the sleeve is very freeing. It's like a kimono sleeve. But it's not a dress. I like that. And I actually really like the feel of the fabric. It's a polyester. It's, like, 90% polyester and 5% elastin, which is what's making it stretchy. And I kind of like that feel, but it's too short. It's way too short. It rides up. If I do this, can you see that? It rides up and it just, maybe just because it's, it's size 24, so it should fit. But I like the detail of the bow as well, like that you tie at the front. I really like the color. It's like a brown and a black, but the brown is like a very kind of caramelly brown color. I like that. I really like that dress when I saw in the picture, but it's too short. I don't know. It's very, very short for me. It's 16 pounds, I believe. I like everything about it except the length and the fact that it rides up. Like if he was going to dance, like, eh, eh, like, do you see that? Voila, your vagina is out. Like, hello? <laughs> like, no, do you know what I mean? It's just needs to be a little bit longer down here, like crisscross here, and then it will be perfect. But I really do like it. I think it's a cute dress. See, you have to like tie the front. I really think it's a cute dress. I like that a lot. It's very, very it's on trend. The zebra and the animal print, you know, like the leopard print zebra. Everything is like very on trend. And I like it. But going on here, which I really think is very classy and I like it a lot. It's very, very cute. It's an animal print in red. And it's a mini dress. I know that it's it's short, but I knew that before I bought it. Like I knew that they I wouldn't it wouldn't go past my knees at all because it's a mini dress, which I wouldn't mind because it's very cute for six pounds and i got it in a size 24. um as i was saying it's um i already knew that it was short but i like it it's a very mini dress and it's, it's like party dress you know like animal part like party animal kind of dress oh look at the booty honey yes it's like oh you can put a cup here very cute it's making my booty pop. It's like, ooh, I like it. It's very cute it's, and it's very like Christmassy. You could wear this to like a Christmas party or whatever, like Christmas time, red and all that. It's very nice. I like it. For the price, 
I'll give it a thumbs up. Like, sister, for six pounds? Yes, the fabric is not great quality. It's very cheap, but it's six pounds. Come on. Like, that's not bad at all. And I really like that. I like this a lot. And look at the booty. Booty, 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 booty. Yes. See, like, my booty pop. Like, really pop. Like, it's very, I like it. With the animal print. So, you know, you'd be like, cash on trend for six pounds. You know, bougie on a budget. <laughs> yes, that's what I like. I like to be on a budget. I like this. I like cheap, cheap shit. I'm like all the way there. Like, why spend money when you can get it for cheap? It's very cute. I like it a lot. It's nice. But this is my last item in the haul. So, if you guys like this video please please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below let me know what is your favorite item that i got and did all the stuff that i show you is it is it worth 200 pounds or you think i should have got a bit more for 200 pounds i was just showing you what you can get for your money at boohoo but you know i like boohoo anyway so let's just leave that because i like it already but for 200 pounds i got maybe 13 14 items and i think that's good because my oh wait, some of them were like on sale most of them on sale <coughs> if it was full price i definitely wouldn't have got that many stuff i would have got less but if you like this kind of videos and you want to see more please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below please please subscribe to my channel so i can be able to continue to make these kind of videos bye hey he's body baby yo. oh lord of his mercy hey i say i'm feeling all this she already know this she want a bad man to come my videos i'm feeling all this she already know this she want a bad man to come my videos